sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to part six of Bits Plays Wild Arms on the Sony PlayStation. This is my second ever full playthrough and my first playthrough in about seven or eight years. Uh, in the last part, we snuck out of the castle against the king's wishes, going through a dungeon, uh, eventually battling Belselk the demon, uh, warding him off momentarily. However, he does have the teardrop. The king passed away. Adelaide is in ruin. The prologue ended. We putzed around in town here for a little bit, and now we are heading off to the Western Mountain Pass. Let's get going. Luckily, um... We are about to level up. Do we go over the bridge? Somebody was already over the bridge, wasn't it, Jack? Cecilia is going to level up in a few more fights, even against these low-level guys. I'm going to go back and read that sign. It might be over the bridge, but who knows. Oh, it says Southwest Mountain Pass, so... I guess it was over the bridge. Hopefully there are some good monsters to be fought here. Aha! Looks like that's our ticket. Mountain Pass, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, our ultimate goal is to get through here to Malama Village. You've been granted passage. Be careful. Dangerous winds blow through the mountain pass. Please be careful. So obviously, I guess if you came here earlier, it was blocked off. Those hurt you, I remember. I recently played Final Fantasy V, so it reminds me of those, um... Oh. Hmm, we need a lighter, huh? Reminds me of those poison weeds. At Drakenvale. Alright, what do we got here? Dryad and Gamora Toads. Well, unless the Dryads yield good experience it's going to be another poopy area again lolithia's tomb was a good place to grind and i regret not going back when i had a moment i'm sure i could go back but i'm not about to do that while i'm recording <laughs> not about that life so we'll just have to deal with it as it comes Okay. Well, the Gamora Toads gave me fucking nothing a while ago, but whatever those things are, that was legit. Yeah, we'll actually level up pretty decently in here. I like this cave. It's cool. Lighter. A lighter. Jack can use it to start fires. The fire can shed light or burn obstacles. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I burn this? Nope. <laughs> no. That don't work. I can't remember if uh, Gallo Bear, huh? Bear hug. Oh boy. I don't remember if the lighter wears out really quickly. I can't remember what game I'm thinking of. Is that Link to the Past? Or another RPG of some sort. I'm not saying Link to the Past is an RPG, guys. Don't get it twisted. It's an action adventure game. I mistakenly classified Zelda as 
an RPG in the past. The only one that's actually an RPG is Zelda 2. Although I haven't played any of the really newer ones. But Zelda 2 you could level up and shit, so... There is build variety in a sense. Okay, so it does wear out. Son of a fucking bitch, bro. That sucks. <laughs> oh, for a second, I don't know why, I thought they were playing like banjos, but it's uh, like a mace and a shield. That's funny. Well, hopefully that's not the only uh, light fixture in here. I'll putz around to the north, but if there ends up not being one really soon, I'll probably go back and light it and just be a little bit more hasty. path there. I think that's ultimately where we probably have to go. Because it looks like just south of me is the area where I just blew up the rocks to go to the right, so. See what I'm saying about wild arms, though, in the dungeon? I feel like the puzzles are interesting enough, interactive enough, but not overly complicated. I feel like it hits, like, a happy medium. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm beat this morning. Holy shit. Currently 11, 12 a.m. on a Sunday. Have a little time block to record. Hashtag blessed. Usually it's late at night, but I guess whether it's uh, in the morning, on the weekend, or late at night, I'm tired all the time, right? Alright, let's just use some heal berries. We have a stairwell. That's what I was looking for. You know what, let's actually do some psycho cracking, shall we? I was doing this to be quicker, but honestly, with all the animations from the spells on the Psycho Crack, it still might be quicker just to <laughs> do regular attacking, you know? Who knows? <clears throat> Quick level up. Good experience in here. You love to see it. Aha. Uh -huh. My intuition was correct. I had a feeling that the uh, the doorway, or the thing that we had to block to go to the stairwell, was probably the ultimate path. Preemptive, we will definitely just attack then. Should only take two turns, I hope. Oh, Cecilia couldn't knock him out. Brutal. Brutal. We're gonna need some uh, counter-attack shenanigans to get through here, I guess.
All right. Oh. Almost tripped over the rocks right into the, uh, the hurtful flowers over the hell they are. Yeah, I want to see this uh, battle. This one seems to go quicker and gives me just about as good ex uh, experience as the lizard men, so. Counter. Yeah. See you in hell. Let's go. Have to imagine Cecilia is probably less than 50 away? No, 136. Gotcha. Kind of an unnecessary uh, light station there, if you will, right? Oh, I guess it lit up this area too? That's odd. That is a very, very heavy <laughs> lighter lantern combo then, huh? If it's lighting up the other room. Fuck your bear hug, bro. Not taking it today. Well, I guess we could look in here first. Save spot, eh? Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm actually gonna get in the habit, I was thinking about this earlier, because I'm fucking paranoid. I'm gonna start making, like, multiple saves in case some of my video data gets corrupted. So that way, if I have to re-record or something... You know, better safe than sorry, right? So, like, this one's back in Adelaide. We'll do here. I think I'll maybe do, like, four saves that I'll keep rotating through, because I always check my videos very quickly after recording to make sure that they're not messed up. I obviously don't watch the whole thing, because I don't have time to sit here and record for an hour and then watch for an hour, but I skim through it just to make sure that we're not getting screwed. Oh, this is a cool dungeon. I like the inside out mechanic, and then it's like super dark. Nice. This is what we want to see. This will give us possibly, what, like 70 or 80 experience, maybe? Get some counterattacks here. Uh, from Cecilia, not so much. It's not gonna do much damage. Nice. Alright, cool, we're all level 9 now. Yes, please, feed me all day, these fools. jealous situation right now. Eh. See, I'm like slightly concerned because we're about to get to a new town, which means there's gonna be new items, new weapons and stuff. Oh! Whew! Those were some nasty wins. Oh, what's going on? These gusts of wind, if I could harness the power. I agree. Why don't you give it a try? Fast draw hint acquired? What is that? Oh, we get a new fast draw. Interesting. So I'm assuming if we use it in battle, it'll reveal itself because there's wind up here, possibly? Does that sound right? 
Yeah, gotta try it out in battle. Okay. Oh. Well, let's give it a try. We'll do regular attack. We'll do the. Oh, nice! It attacks everybody. You love to see it. Sonic Buster. Cool. I was in the mood for a good crowd control spell. Technically, it's a skill, but, you know, it uses MP, so... It's a spell in my book, dammit. Possibly another fight or two where I sustain damage, I might uh, use some more heal berries. Antidote. Another antidote. Shit. <laughs> as soon as he ran into that wall, you knew. You knew a fight was coming. <clears throat> Harpies, oh boy. Let's use Sonic Busta. Sounds like something you'd hear in a, uh, a fighting game, right? Where they have uh, some overly American character have a Japanese accent. It does feel good playing a PS1 RPG. I mean, I played Kingsfield for the channel, but it's been a while since I played like an actual like JRPG. You know, not a first-person dungeon crawler. In a sense, um, it hits different, man. Especially this era. You know, I grew up with SNES and Sega Genesis, but, like, PlayStation is when I kind of, like, came of age, I guess you could say, in my gaming life, because I was a little bit older, you know what I mean? So I started actually finishing games, although I never finished Wild Arms. <clears throat> Back then, at least. Yeah. Oh, I forgot they steal stuff. Do they drop it, though? I think they might be able to leave. Isn't that the gimmick? Yeah, they steal and leave. You fuck. Oh, well, I guess we killed the one that must have stolen it, so that's good. That's funny. See, I feel like Wild Arms really nails, like, a lot of the time- the little things, you know what I mean? To keep things very interesting for the player. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sonic Buster time, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, the best part is, is, uh, as of the day of recording uh, this part in the previous part, I was actually not supposed to play Wild Arms today, but I completely forgot that my wife had a girl's date planned with our daughter and uh, one of her friends. So it gave me some extra time and I snuck a little recording in. You gotta love it. Nothing like the unplanned time, right? Oopsies, Jesus. <laughs> that was a little sloppy, huh? Uh, so I didn't go somewhere in here. Which has me a little concerned. I might have to go back. I just might have to. But we'll see. It's funny, uh, I think it was like, what, part two, my Hori neck phones died because I had forgotten to charge them for like two weeks. And when the battery starts getting low, the right side speaker 
starts getting dim. And I remember when I first opened these, I was like, wow, these things suck, because like, <laughs> it wasn't fully charged, obviously. So the right side speaker was like a little low. But I'm telling you, man, for somebody like me, this is like a godsend. It is so comfortable, because I cannot stand wearing headphones. Alright, I'm a little concerned that I'm missing items in here. Hopefully this leads to an item. There's two areas that I feel like I didn't really look at. One was when I first came into the section, I kind of went to the west and not to the north. And then there was like a little section up above where I'm going right now that I didn't look at either. Hmm. Huh. Olive branch, huh? Nullified disease, okay. So that's... Gotcha. That's a situational thing, you know? Hmm. Seems more like a situational usage, but it could, you know... There was that one section of the game where I was getting diseased in like every fight, right? So something like that would help save you from having to use medicines over and over and over. I just realized Cecilia is below 200 HP, so I have to address that after this fight. Nice, Jack leveled up. So is everybody level 10 now except Cecilia? Yeah. She's not too far off. That's good. We're gonna be a lot higher level than I thought we'd be at this point. Best, best, best. Making sure our luck was still up. I'm assuming that luck plays into like counterattacks and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> that makes sense. Uh, heal berry. Uh, that's fine. Oh damn, me uh, laying the bombs actually. Oh, sick, a crest graph. Laying the bomb counted as like a step or an action for the um, the timer on the lighter. Interesting, right? It's funny, I'm able to run through the dungeons, but I still find myself not wanting to. I guess especially through here, right? Because of the whole, you know. Oh, oh it's crowd control but only if they're paired together. That attack from Jack, the new magic one. That makes sense, okay. Got it. So it's probably the same for like magic. Like if the uh, the dudes on the end were combined as two in the, uh, the chart, the battle chart, whatever you want to call it, then I could probably cast fire on both of them, but not on the entire party. And same goes for Jack's wind attack. And that makes total sense. I wonder... Nah, I feel like the, the Psycho one or whatever it's called. The psycho Crack. Yeah, there we go. Attacks a group. Psycho Attack's just a one-off. I still need to know what... Jack's, uh... Like, skill does. Maybe I'll just try it out in the next fight. Magic map. Shows known towns. Probably use it on the overworld. Malama lies south of the mountain pass. Feel free to visit. I've heard rumors about the demons, but I don't believe in them. All right, so just south is Malama. Let's check our map. So 
So if I arrange, does that move the map back? It does. Ah, oh, it moves it down here at least. It's not too bad. Okay, so yeah, gotcha. It's not super detailed, but it does give you a little bit of a look as far as where you are. Could be worse. You're looking for Malama. The water village of Malama. Keep going south. There's a cave there. Probably gonna be summoned to go in, huh? All right, let's definitely save, right? Actually, first, I want to go fight a battle and see what the hell his skill is. If I can, of course, because uh, the skill takes like a turn or two to build up, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Alright, well this one actually could build up, I suppose. We'll do Rudy, Jack, and uh, eh, whatever. We're just trying to like delay so we get Jack's uh, meter up. Of course, he's one-shotting things now. Of course. Um, I guess we could just defend. Hold on, Jack's got Accelerator. So what does that do? <laughs> I still don't really know what Accelerator does. Let's look at the instruction manual. <clears throat> Get our pause screen up. Okie doke. Um, probably under combat controls or something, 34. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but what is Accelerator? Okay, this is Jack's level 1 force ability. It allows Jack to perform an action quicker than anyone else during a turn. Oh, after you select the Accelerator Force command, you may then select the action for Jack to perform. So basically, from what it says, is that it will um, allow me to outturn something. Especially useful in a boss battle where the boss could be outturning me. So that's good to know. How close is she? All right, she's 36 away. Let's level up before we go into town. Fuck it. Fuck it. Come on. <clears throat> Any day now. It's a classic JRPG thing. You know, when you're actively looking for a battle, it'll never happen. And then I'll probably level up. Oh, not after this, but I was gonna say I'd level up and then encounter two more fights on the way back to town. <laughs> but that's not gonna do it. Oh, it almost did actually. Damn. I was expecting less. Yeah. Any kind of fight will get it. Get it for me now. Woo. So Rudy just collides into the edge of the earth, huh? Collides into the beach. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Come on. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Sonic Busta. Alright, let's go explore Malama Village after our leveling experience. Should have plenty of money to uh, upgrade our stuff, I hope. Because you gotta keep in mind that we could sell the old stuff. <clears throat> but, as you guys have seen so far in Wild Arms, the villages have lots of dialogue, things to check out, so we're probably gonna be here for at least 20 minutes or so. This is Malama, huge, rich, and full of water. The oasis of the world.
Oh my god, dude. The soundtrack's so good in this game. If you're going to the Guardian Temple, stop by the pub first. The owner might have some information for you. So obviously the Guardian Temple is the cave that was nearby. This town has always been blessed with a lot of water. I wonder if this has something to do with the Guardian to the north. Uh-huh. Cute ribbon. What do we got? Protection for the head. You don't say... Uh... Oh, nice. Somehow the ribbon, which is a soft fabric, is better than this thing that's presumably hard. It's interesting, huh? Ooh, this is an out of place barrel. What do we got going on? 10 gal hat. 10 gallon hat, huh? That seems like something for you, sir. Indeed. And this is why you explore before you buy, right? Long ago, there were many like me who came through the cave to the east. Gotta get back to work. Welcome, what can I do for- wait. Oh, what? Um... Well, they're all upgrades. How about I sell some stuff, just in case, to keep your interest, right? You never know when these guys will, like, pack up shop, so... I will come again. Thank you, sir. Let's continue exploring. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Yeah, so as expected, that does not heal you. But more likely than not, it uh, purifies you of ailments. Which makes sense. I guess we'll just start from the left side of town. Checking barrels. As you can see, nothing remains of the Deep Guardian warship that used to go on here. Oh, come on, man. That's sad. What's up? Why you do that? Hey, a crest graph. Good shit. I actually want to max out. Well, not max out, but get all my uh, black magic spells. Mystic Apple. Nice. Wow, wow. My brother won't stop teasing me. I hate girls. I was just fooling around, but now she's crying. Can I read the bookshelf? I can. Tale of the Sheriff. True bravery will be rewarded with the sheriff's title. The bravery badge is called a Sheriff Star. Do you understand? It's kind of weird. Looks like they have a bottle of milk on the top shelf that's spilled. That's fucking gross. Probably like 95 degrees in this town. Disgusting. Alright. Did we talk to this guy? There are still natural resources left here. You should see what's on the other side of the East Mountains. It's all sand. Alright, let's explore this side of the town. Party apple. I guess we'll do Jack, why not? Sure. Um, yeah, we'll rest at the inn, right? From what I hear, the town is protected by the power of the Guardians, but I don't believe it. Um, yeah, let's just get that over with, sure. Sure, sure, sure. More to explore, and we have to go back to our mans who is, uh, <laughs> selling forbidden equipment in the woods for some reason. Welcome, what can I do for you? Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. 12, 5. Uh, I don't know. Guess I'll definitely max that out. Well, not max that out, but put it to 5 with the rest of them. I don't really have the money to be getting everything to 10 right now. And I have to buy a bunch of equipment and stuff. Nothing there, it seems. 
You can never get a drink in the pub. It's always too crowded. There's the weapon shop. I want to grow up and drink, <laughs> and drink like the adults. I wonder what it tastes like. Jesus Christ. There's the pub. We'll go there last. The Guardian Shrine protecting Malama isn't doing so well. The shrine is in shambles. Is it because we lost our faith? I think so. You said you guys fucking used to like worship it and stuff and then you stopped caring. That's on you, not me. But I'll go pick up the pieces, of course. Fucking kid aspiring to be an alcoholic over here. Fucked up. Crestgraph! Alright. Let's make oif. I have one more, don't I? Hell yeah. Let's make that wind. I'll tell you what, if an enemy would be weak to wind soon, that would be great because we have wind magic and we have the wind, uh, wind slash fucking skill thing. I'm fine with those spells for now. That's for sure. Did I talk to you yet? I decided to be a magician when I grow up. See, that's more of a good aspiration. You got this little kid that wants to be an alcoholic, and then you got somebody that wants to be a magician. Definitely different paths in life. The place where the guardians live, nobody goes there anymore. Are they not there anymore? I don't know. We got a dog. So right now, it looks like the weapon shop, the traveling salesman, and the pub are basically all I didn't do. One, two, three, Gell Jella. Interesting. What do you guys want? Oh. Uh, came to visit the Guardian? Guardians? They're north of town. Do you see them on the way? Metal band. Okay. Can't get over there. I can get over there, though, if you move. Nothing. Nice. Is it a cat? It looks like a dog. Sounds like a cat, though. Got a dog here. Hmm, I feel like there's some, like, little puzzle revolving around the dog. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think, like, you can give him food or something. I can't quite remember. I, If I remember correctly, I think Wild Arms has a lot of stuff that you can come back to later. Like, remember back in the Lolithia's uh, tomb, there was that treasure chest that you need some kind of hook or something to get across. I think like this dog, little things like that, that, um, you know, let me write those down. Actually, I got a new notebook. Well, not a new notebook, a new old notebook. Uh, what did this come with? It's a Dark Souls notebook. I can't remember what it came with though. Something for Dark Souls 3, cause it says Ashen one. I gave it to my daughter and she, aww. So many cute drawings in here. Oh shit! I, I was using this for a while, I remember. Okay, this was um... When I was streaming, this was my notebook for Dragon Warrior 2. Right? Leonport, Tantagel, Sherlock, yeah. Yeah, Alani and Orteo and stuff, that's not, that's not Dragon Warrior 1. That's cool. Long story short though, my daughter buried it in a uh fucking closet for a year and a half and hasn't touched it, so I took it back. <laughs> Alright, so Malama. Let's write Wild Arms so we know what game it is. Wild Arms. Malama. Dog on east side. Lolithia's tomb. Chest over Hook gap. All right, we got it written down. Let's go. All right. Other than the stuff in the pub, which probably isn't going to be much to find, we could start buying stuff now. I think. Let's sell first, of course. We'll keep that stuff.
I'm still confused. Is that a consumable? Yes, it is. The lucky card I was talking about in my brain. Uh, all right, that goes up. Perfect. We will equip it. And that's also an increase. Good stuff. We will equip that. And the dream wand. Also an increase. And let's go ahead and sell the old stuff. The long sword. The magical rod. And the chrome blade. And if we don't have enough uh, to buy from the traveling salesman, we can go out and grind a little bit. I'm not opposed to that. Oops. Did not mean to talk to you, sir. Alright. What do we got? Yeah, we could afford all this stuff, no big deal. Mist Blazer, though. Oh, nice. That bumps up, uh, was it magic resistance? We'll sell our old stuff. I mean, we're not dead broke, so that's okay, right? Uh, I think we're good on things, because we can't buy revive fruits. They seem to be items you have to find. We got plenty of bullet clips. Celia's luck has dipped. We must use a flower. I don't know if that's going to last me the whole game, actually. It seems like the luck goes down quite frequently. Well, let's go check out the pub. Before we leave or do anything, we'll save. I think the pub is up here? Did I talk to you yet? He wants to be a dream chaser. Seems pretty childish to me. What about me? He's so selfish. Oh, this guy. Once in my life, I'd like to live a life of adventure. Just like the dream chasers, you understand? But my girlfriend... It'd be funny if one of the future Wild Arms games, like, they randomly just pick that character to be, like, a protagonist. Some deep cuts. Where the fuck was the pub? Oh! Apparently I didn't explore everything. Nice. Good stuff. Do, do, do. do we just like start jacking up Jack? Pun intended. Make him a fucking unit. Good. How did I miss this area? Pub owner claims to be the son of a guardian priest. Give me a break. Great dream chasers use tools with sophistication. Do you consider yourself great? I absolutely do. Stuff like this always bothers me. It's like, was that just an oversight or did you intend for people to go down and have nothing there? You know what I mean? Don't mind my grandpa. Whenever we have company, he gets overly excited. When you become as good as me, you can kill those monsters with one strike of the force. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, now we go to the pub. I could have sworn it was over here. I remember passing it. Guess not, though. There's a pyramid far to the north of here. We couldn't enter the chamber because the door is sealed by magic. How are we not- or how are we gonna get in without the, uh, the crystal tear thing, or whatever? Seems like a conundrum to me. Alright, real talk. Where the fuck was the pub? I made a mental note of it, and I forgot already. Was it this building? I don't think so. Oh my god. Well, at least this kid's gonna be a warrior and not a drunk, so good on him. I thought that was the drunk kid. Hello. Where'd you go? Where's the inn? Was it next to the inn? Maybe? Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind over here. 
Nope. Well, we know where the inn is, so that's good. <laughs> I think it was, it was on this side of the town, wasn't it? What the fuck? Where is it? Oh my god. The towns are really freaking big in this game. Honestly. The fact that I'm getting lost in this town is actually quite ridiculous. Where the fuck is the pub, bro? The pub was somewhere up here, I just can't fucking remember. Maybe it was just down the main path? With the, uh... With the dude? You know what I'm saying? Mm. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Feeling stupid right now. Where is it? Okay, that's the magic. That's the weapon. I thought it was over this way, not to the right. Where is it? <laughs> Where the fuck is the pub? Doesn't it have a pub, like, sign on it? It does, right? That's the dude that was selling stuff outside of the church. This isn't the pub. Oh my god. This is taking embarrassingly long. Holy shit, where did the fucking pub go? <laughs> I'm telling you, it disappeared. I'm like, going over every fucking building in this town except the pub. Where the fuck is the pub? I should've just went in right away. I just didn't want to like, kickstart some kind of like, cutscene or something. That's not the pub, that's the inn. The inn is a dead end. It's like, the only thing on that platform. That's leaving town. That's the magic. Oh my god, where is the fucking pub? Wow. Okay, so you had to go all the way in the back of the town. I guess I probably saw it earlier when I was doing the crest graph. Goodness gracious. Alright. Let's talk to the patrons. There's no alcohol in this? No, that's impossible. The owner's father was a guardian priest. I heard the town of Adelaide was under attack by the demons. Is this Terra from Final Fantasy? Six. To the east of the cave, there is a desolate ocean made of sand. Beyond that, there's a town called the Ship Graveyard. From what I hear, only the best dream chasers will get through that cave. What do you want? I'm busy right now. Can you come back later? You want to ask the pub owner about the guardian shrine? Yes. The guardians? I didn't think anybody knew about them anymore. I may be of some help. My father was the last keeper of the Guardian Temple and he told me many stories. Wait until the customers are gone, will ya? This isn't a temple I'm running here. Why don't you guys eat something while you wait? Okay, five hamburgers please. Wow, that's a lot of food for you guys. Who's gonna eat all of it? Fucking hand pan. <laughs> I can't believe you had seconds. Magic castings requires a lot of energy. That's why I'm always hungry after a battle. Plus, I love hamburgers. I learned how fun it was to eat through uh, cooking and eating hamburgers at the Abbey. Everyone loves me because I'm a princess, not because I'm Cecilia. If people need me because of what I symbolize, then I shall do what's asked of me. I will retrieve the teardrop. Kind of like odd dialogue there. Okay, I'm ready. Let's talk about the Guardians. There is a room that only priests were permitted to see. My father probably wanted me to be a priest because he made me memorize the password to the room. Write this down. Ooh, hold on. I gotta bust out another bookmark, actually. <clears throat> actually, I will do that. I'll leave the bookmark here and go grab my other one. Okay. Light the fire at two. Light fire at two. Then at 10, when you light the fire at 6, light at 6, <clears throat> the doors will open at 12. Doors equal 12. Go through the temple with the light. Got it. 
Oops, dropped my pen. I don't know what this means, but I'm sure you'll find out. I'll take this with you. My father left this for me, but I don't need it anymore. Holy metal. A guardian servant's metal. Probably an item that we use there, right? Alright, 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 I got it. Okay, well, let's go to the inn. Uh, we already rested there, right? Yep. We have stocked up on pretty much everything that we should need. Uh, and then we're gonna head to the... the guardian area. Do our thing. Pretty, uh, successful segment um and again guys i don't want it to make it sound like i'm complaining about how big the towns are because it's it's nice that there's a lot to explore i just got lost you know so as i was saying we're back in adelaide here mountain pass let's start another one and then we'll actually even do another one that way i can kind of uh foolproof things in case we have any kind of technical difficulties and i should start doing that more often when i can because you never know i'd hate hate to be playing an rpg and then all of a sudden like oh i noticed one part from 15 parts ago doesn't work you know then it's you gotta scrap the whole playthrough all right guys hopefully you've been enjoying wild arms i certainly have been very very happy with it uh it's good times good memories and it's a very fun game i'm glad to revisit it so if you've been enjoying please like the video comment i do my best to reply to all comments on all videos and subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys in the next part of the playthrough take care